Welcome to the first book talk of the year. So this one is super appropriate. So this is On Thin Icing by Ellie Alexander. It is the like, I think it's the third book in her A Bake Shop Mystery series. And it is just, it's so appropriate for this time of the year. It's set in January and in a snowstorm. And as I was reading this, it is January and it was a snowstorm. The basic premise of this book is just, I don't know, it's somewhere between like a standalone and still part of the series because I think you could technically jump in, but also like the plot in this one in particular is really building off of the previous ones as like the background long-term slow burn plot that is the series, which is more of like her personal relationships. And this one, it really came to head that if you hadn't read the other books, I don't think the tension would make complete sense. But the plot of like the murder mystery, the cozy mystery of this book would because obviously it's contained within this book. But yeah, it was it was interesting. So I don't know how much would be a like spoiler if you haven't read the previous books. So I'm going to try not to spoil things. But if you've read the previous books, I think you'll kind of get an idea. But like just so you're aware, like it's like a minor spoiler because it's like central kind of to the plot. <laughs> but there is a smidge bit, like a hinting of a love triangle that we know in the next book is probably going to get a little more complex, but it's been like a buildup of the past few books leading to this point. And so now we're finally there and like that's just one part in the story. The majority of the story is basically our main character Jules goes to cater for Lance at the like lodge in the woods, which is a like lodge that has cabins that's you know it's all year round kind of but it's supposed to be you know like this kind of richy area that you go up to and just have a vacation at and they're hosting like the board members for the theater there and she is catering for this event and then as per usual a murder happens and then I don't know how she does this, but every single book, I never know who the th killer is going to be. I have my theories, and then I'm like, ooh, it's going to be this one. It's going to be this one. And then I'm always wrong. Every single time. Never fails. She is so good at writing these stories because I never, ever can guess who it's going to be. And again, despite the premise of the book being about murder, it really isn't much of a thriller. It is, she somehow manages to write this in a cozy way. <laughs> like, I don't know how the authors do it because the subject matter is really dark. And yet it just feels like you're wrapped up in a cozy blanket reading a book. It's just the best. I love her writing. I hope she continues the series and continues to write because she is so good at what she does. Absolutely loved this book yet again. Again, Jules is a character that like sometimes you're just like, oh, you're kind of obnoxious. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's just like little comments here and there that I've mentioned before. It's kind of the same things. And I don't know if it's the author or if it is her character, which is a good thing to never know which way is it the character or the author who has that opinion. But yeah, sometimes Jules gets on my nerves a little bit. She's getting better. And I know by book 17, she does get better because I started with that book. So this is where we're starting to shift a little bit. She wasn't as bad this time. There's just a couple instances. And like, like this book in particular, the thing that bugged me about Jules is that she's such a food snob that it's like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> I get it. She's a chef. She's going to be a food snob. But it just gets a little obnoxious when, like, they're bashing, like, oh, but it's bagged tea and it's hot chocolate mixed with water. And you're like, oh, like, I'm, I, I actually prefer that. <laughs> and, like, I don't like fresh tea leaves. I like my little bagged tea. But, yeah, the recipes in here looked amazing. That is one of the big reasons that I want to eventually get this whole series in my own collection of a library because the recipes look so good. So she had one that <laughs> I just couldn't find the right page and I was going to be so mad at the author for not including it because she goes into so much detail for cooking that it's like if you don't include this recipe and she did I just didn't find it at first but it's like orange um, cardamom rolls or something and it sounded divine. As you're sitting there, as it's snowing and it's cold, just a blizzard outside, it's like, I need that. And then I found the recipe at the end and I was like, oh, you did include it. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm fine. And now I want to make that because it sounds so good, especially for this time of the year where it's cold. <laughs> like that with some coffee sounds amazing. 
Much like the other books in this series, if you love a cozy mystery book, you need to just read these. They are fantastic. I absolutely love them. Again, there's just a few times that like Jules gets on my nerves, but for the most part, I absolutely love these books. I look forward to reading them every time and like I do plan to buy every single book, but that's a lot of books to buy and she's still adding to these. So it's going to be a minute, but I do plan to eventually get all of these books. They are so good. I absolutely love them. My library copies are definitely well loved as well. So other people really do enjoy these. And I hope that you like these books too. If you want to check them out, go, you know, buy them or rent them from your library because it is from a fairly large publishing house and it's like kind of, I don't know, the amount of read through it looks like my copies have gone through. It seems to be pretty popular. And so hopefully your local library would have it too. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments below. What books are you currently reading? Have you finished any books yet this year? I have currently read, I think I'm on, I think I finished book five. I think this was my fifth book of the year or yeah, somewhere around there, like five or six books that I've read so far this year. So doing not too bad. Goodreads says I am two books ahead so far and I plan to keep it that way because <laughs> I fell behind last year. So try to keep the ahead thing going on. But yeah, anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on Thin Icing in the comments down below. If you want to check out my books, they are always linked at my blog down below as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.